Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my brows. An updated brow routine, of course, which is honestly like the best. Like, I love doing my brows. I think it's so therapeutic when I do them. And honestly, I wouldn't do all these steps if I had thick shaped brows. I just think any girl that has like bushy eyebrows, even like a unibrow is just beautiful. I love, love that look. And honestly, if I had that kind of brow, I would never do my brows. I'll just, I'll just put like brow gel and that's it because I love that kind of brow. Like the model looking runway brow that is just so beautiful to me. But since I was in blessed with those genetics i have to tweak a little bit with my brows which is totally fine that's why there's makeup i'm gonna take this brow soap which is from dhc i'll link it below but this is one of the best ones that i have well the only ones that work the only one that works on me is this one and i've been using it for a really long time i've had this brow gel for like I want to say like two three years already and it's amazing what I like to do first is obviously brush my hair down it looks really funny and really damn girl you need to trim your brows but this is what I do this is my thing I like insane now brush them all up like this so you're getting a good coat on. We don't want any little hairs to be out of place. Make sure they all face the same direction like that. Just gonna brush, keep brushing it up. I love this brush right here. It's from Beauty Creation. It's the double, no, the dual eyebrow brush. Uh, I'll link it below, but I what I do is I just flatten the hairs out like this and it makes such a huge difference it lays them it makes sure that they all just lay you know what I mean but that's how it looks like amazing right what can makeup do to you well this is not even makeup it's just the brow soap so I'm gonna take a little bit more I'm gonna wet it actually have a lot on the brush already so now this brow let's do it face it down all of the hairs going down we don't want none to face up because we want to coat them all brush them up i know you guys are going to be like oh my god well sarai like what do we do with the excess that like the white that comes up here like the residue don't you worry girl I got you hold on let me just keep doing this it's actually better if it dries off first grab the flat side and lay them like this so as you guys can see one brow is actually higher than the other one. This one's higher than this brow for some odd reason, but that's how I was born. It's okay. The next thing I do, I get this spoolie here, and you guys are probably going to be like, what the fuck is this? Well, the little handle thing broke, and I haven't had the chance to get a new um, spoolie, but I did get this from... <laughs> It's so funny. Um, I did get this from Smith Cosmetics. I'll have that link down below, but I love how it's long and it's just perfect. Like, it's long, skinny, you know? Look at that. So you just want to kind of lay them like that and then shape them. Bam. They're not going anywhere. They're already laid. And now for this brow, I lay them. Bam. That's it. That's all you gotta do. So, like I said, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that residue that we have going. Like the brow soap residue, which we don't want because sometimes it makes our foundation application look 
not cute. It does not look cute. So what you want to do is get a Q-tip and get some micellar water. This is this one is from Garnier. It's the Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And I just put a little bit of it on a Q-tip like that. I used to use a makeup wipe, but this is so much easier and it also just makes it way, way cleaner and like really precise. So what you want to do is just getting get rid of the brow soap around the eyebrow. I'm telling you, this is a whole process. So if you guys have time to do this, like me, go for it. But this takes time, you guys. It, it takes practice, it takes time, and it takes passion. So that's it. Literally, how I do, how I shake my brows, I leave them alone. I do not fill them in until that's way after I'm done with my whole makeup routine. But I do want to show you guys how I sculpt them and how I clean them underneath before. And this is crazy because I'm not adding any products, just concealer. But the concealer is going to be my guide to not mess up and to not go any further down like with my brow product. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But I'm going to take this Kevin Aquan concealer. Love how it's kind of like a peachy undertone. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's right in between. I love it. I love I've been using this concealer for a really long time. And then I'm also taking this MAC, MAC 252S. It's a synthetic brush. You can use a smaller brush, but I love how big and large it is. So what I do is... I follow the natural shape of my brow. And then I get a little more. And honestly, I don't do anything on top. I hate doing that and I don't like it. I don't like it. I used to do it. I now think it looks way too harsh and it just looks like, like a really mean brow. <laughs> this concealer is also going to act as my uh, eyeshadow base. And now I'm going to take some loose powder and set that in place it doesn't look harsh at all and that's what i want i want my brow to look as natural as possible and i don't want it to look harsh but yeah you guys i'm gonna do this eye off camera and then i'll be right back when i have makeup on because i'm also going to be recording some reels and some tiktoks for you guys um, if you're not following me on instagram or tiktok what are you doing Go ahead and follow me. I'll wait. I'm just kidding. You guys can follow me if you want. If you don't, it's okay. Yeah, I'll be right back to show you guys how I fill them in. Okay, guys. So I look kind of crazy right now because my lashes and my eyeshadow are just like, bam. Star of the show right now. But I'm going to do my brows. That's also a reason why I look really crazy is because I haven't done my brows. And so, let's finish up the brows. I'm going to take the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I just started doing this because I feel like it looks a little more natural than the ink. I still love the ink so, so much. But I felt like it did leave like a satin, shiny look. And with this, it's just, it's just matte. So, let's do this. The shade number four. And what I'm going to do is do very light strokes like this through my brow and then I'm also going to kind of um, line the bottom fill in the gaps that we have here Like that, and you guys can see the difference right away. It just looks 
cooler. It looks like a friggin' natural brow. Doesn't look crazy. Like that. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this eyebrow. And then again, I'm just going to do strokes, strokes, strokes. And that is it. You guys can totally stop here. But I like to fill in the um, corners up a little bit. So I'm taking my Beauty Creations Brow Powder Book. And I'm going to take a little bit of chocolate. And then I'm just going to start filling in the tail of my brow. And whatever I have left, I just run through the front. Just like this. And that is it, you guys, for my brows. I love the way they come out all the time. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for my eyebrow routine i really hope you guys enjoyed it please give me a big thumbs up if you guys did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um i will be doing shorts youtube shorts very very soon so that will be fun oh i did film this look over on my tiktok so go ahead and follow me there and you'll see how i do this look right over there but anyways that is it i'll catch y'all on my next video Hi.